Hello, eggheads, and today I need your help solving a very important case. That is, a computer case. Ugh. Oh, come on, guys, who writes this stuff? Touche. Well, moving on. I know you or someone you know out there likes to custom build their PCs. In that way, I'm very similar. And I always know what kind of motherboard I want, how much RAM, what kind of hard drive I want. But then I hit this philosophical conundrum. What should it look like, right? What kind of case do I want? Well, today I have a really awesome option. It is the Dark Flash DLM21 White Micro ATX Mini Tower. Now, before we look at this case, I want to remind you that yes, a computer case hopefully looks really cool. But the important question to ask ourselves when shopping for a case is, does this case fit the specifications I need for my machine, right? Will all of my components fit? Are there enough SDD slots, HDD slots? Is there enough space for a cooling system? Do I need a cooling system? Is the motherboard I want even compatible, all right? So while we hold these questions in our mind, let's take a look inside the case. The first thing I notice about this pretty cool case is how the door opens. Check this out. It has an opening side panel with a magnetic design. All right, look at that. It opens super easily, no tools required, very easy to disassemble the parts. I must say, you can't feel it from there, but it is a little mesmerizing to be able to have a computer that opens this way. All right, that is, that is just very cool. I could, I could probably do this all day. <laughs> uh, of course, with the glass panel, you'll reveal whatever cool light show you have on the inside in a kind of low-key, understated way, show off the nice components you have in there. And of course, this panel is tempered glass, okay, which means it has been processed through special chemical treatments to increase the strength compared with standard glass. We'll notice that the front panel has a low poly design, which is kind of a cool term in 3D gaming, which just means a low number of polygons. I think I remember a Pokemon that was made out of polygons, but that's something for another time. It, uh, it kind of says, I'm cool, without really screaming it. And on the top, we have our important buttons. We've got our power button, our reset button. We have two USB 2.0 ports. We have one USB 3.0 port and then we have two high definition audio ports. The entire case is made up of SPCC steel, which, well, SPCC steel is simply commercial grade cold rolled steel. So, nice and sturdy. The case does feature an air inlet design, which helps maximize ventilation. With a mini case, we're even more concerned about possible overheating because our internal components are gonna be closer together. So if we're running high intensity programs like high res games, if you're editing movies, especially in 4K or just running a lot of programs at once, we wanna be careful of that. We wanna make sure we have possibly water cooling. This does support CPU cooling, but at a maximum height of 165 millimeters. The maximum video card length is 330 millimeters. So please check your specs. I can't say that enough. Check the specs beforehand. I don't want anyone out there buying a bunch of parts, trying to put them together and then realizing, uh oh, something doesn't fit, right? Okay, the case weighs about 11 pounds. The inside has two 3.5 drive bays, one 2.5 drive bay and four expansion slots. You're gonna get great cable management out of this case. Again, your components are super easy to access with this very slick tempered glass side panel. Check that out. Again, I just hope everyone out there can feel what I'm feeling when I do that. That is just so cool. All right, so if you only have a few internal drives, uh, if your graphics card will fit, this is definitely a case that I can highly recommend, especially if you wanna go the CPU liquid cooling route. I've seen standard metal cases go for this price without the slick tempered glass side panel, without the cool paint job, without the consideration for airflow. So. I think it's safe to say that we have solved today's case. This has been New Egg Now, and now you know.